Well, Professor Clements with you as we consider voltmeters and ammeters. This relates to the OpenStax College Physics textbook, Chapter 21. Um, there are many places where knowledge of the voltage or the current is useful information, uh, different types of gauges and display. Um, in, inside that equipment, there's a detection of voltage or current. So we're going to discuss uh, just briefly some of the uses of these meters. Um, example in a circuit where you see V inside a circle, you're uh, seeing a description of a voltmeter. The voltmeter's purpose is to measure potential difference between two points on the, uh, on the circuit. Um, so three voltmeters being used here, and just an example of a voltmeter down at the, uh, in the picture there. Um, an ammeter, you'll see A inside a circle, and the purpose here is to measure the current in the circuit. Um, we're not going to talk much about the constructions of voltmeters. Um, the voltmeter and the ammeter at their heart have a galvanometer, a sensitive current device. And the voltmeter has a high resistance because a a large resistor is put in series with the galvanometer. Um, and when we uh, make an ammeter, then we have a small resistance in parallel with the galvanometer. So most of the current will go through this small resistance. A little bit of current will go through here to activate the, uh, the galvanometer. Um, but this will be a small resistance. The, the voltmeter characteristic is high resistance. The ammeter's characteristic resistance is small. So when we have a circuit, we uh, want to take measurements in that circuit without disturbing the circuit. We want the uh, circuit to work as it had before we tried to make a measurement. When we use a voltmeter, you'll always put the voltmeter in parallel with the object that you're working with. Uh, the voltmeter has high resistance. Not much current's going to go through here. Basically we have the same resistance that we had before. You could try this with our reciprocal calculation for parallel resistors. Um, you know, make this 10 ohms, make this a million ohms, and see if you get something near 10 ohms for the equivalent parallel resistance. Um, so we do have to worry a little bit about how big the resistor is that we're trying to measure. If this is a million ohms and this is a million ohms, then we're going to significantly change the behavior of the circuit. Um, so just be aware we want to use voltmeters in parallel and they work best when we're measuring voltage across a resistance that's much smaller than the resistance of the voltmeter. And I just chose a million ohms here. Um, electronic voltmeters can have uh, resistances higher than um, a million ohms. With the ammeter, we want to put the ammeter in series. The ammeter has a characteristic very low resistance, so it's not going to change the circuit much. Um, we do want to avoid situations where the resistance we're trying to work with in the circuit is small or comparable to the ammeter. Uh, that would be a problem. We also want to avoid putting the ammeter in parallel. Very much want to avoid putting the ammeter in parallel uh, because the ammeter resistance is small. If I put the ammeter in parallel with the resistor we're trying to measure, almost all the current will flow through the ammeter, um, very likely burning out the ammeter, uh, but seriously distorting the operation of the circuit. Um, and you know, a caution with the voltmeter as well. With the voltmeter, you do not want to put the voltmeter in series uh, with the circuit, um, with the resistance. You know, we have very high resistance for the voltmeter, so if we put it in series with the resistor, that's significantly going to change the operation of the circuit. Voltmeters are used in parallel. Ammeters are used in series. And uh, that's what we need to say about uh, the meters here. But, Voltmeters we use in parallel, measuring the uh, uh, voltage around some across some circuit element. Ammeters we use in series. So, no, those concepts were for my class. We're not going to do calculations on how to build an ammeter or a voltmeter.